You can go through the whole list of shocking comments. Um, he once said in an interview that he would rather to hear that his son died in a car accident than hear that his son is gay. Um, he told a colleague in the lower house of Congress where he served for 30 years when she accused him of defending torture and rape, which he did during the dictatorship, that she need not worry because, in his words, she didn't deserve to be raped by him, meaning that she was too ugly to deserve and merit his his rape. Um, there's a whole slew of comments like that about black people, about indig the indigenous. Um, but the much more worrying aspect are not these kind of comments, but the policies that he is explicitly endorsing. Um, his model for how he wants to deal with crime um, are the world's worst dictators. People um, like Pinochet, he's, he's advocated um, that we do things like in the Philippines, where we just send the military and the police to just indiscriminately slaughter whatever whoever they think is a drug dealer or a criminal without trials. Um, he believes in military rule. He doesn't regard the military coup of 1964 and the 21 year resulting military dictatorship as a coup or as a dictatorship. He regards it as something noble and wants to replicate it. And he has the entire top level of the Brazilian military supporting him and behind him. Um, so you really don't have institutions the way you do in the U.S., like a strong Supreme Court um, or a kind of deep state of the CIA and the FBI or political parties that would constrain him in what he wants to do. And especially given how much popular support there now is behind him, um, there's a substantial part of the country that is genuinely terrified about what he intends to do and intends to do rather quickly and probably can do, namely bringing back the worst abuses of the kinds of dictatorships that summarily executed dis dissidents, that shut down media outlets, that closed congresses that we thought was a thing of the past here in Latin America, but is now on the verge of returning to its most important and largest country.